G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. A little bit chilly today. Uh, I've come down to the Wungong Dam in Western Australia, which is local to where I live. And I picked up the Cedar Summit X Brew coffee filter. Now, I've gone into a routine in the mornings now when I'm out in the bush, if I'm on the Bilbo track or something, that I love to start early in the morning, just have a walk. So I can just take my time, take some photos, do filming. So I'll get into the habit of either just using the coffee bags or having a tea now, because I can't stand the little sachet coffees. They just don't do anything for me. So I thought I'd get hold of one of these. It's been in my pack, so it's got all bits all over it now but and it's a collapsible coffee filter you can use the paper filters in this let's think a bit closer you can see in the center there there's a like a micro mesh that comes out the bottom there and there's a second mesh there which is even finer and you can see the hole on this side is smaller because that's the part that sits on top of the cup which I'll show you in a moment and actually guides the coffee to the middle so it's not going to be coming out the sides and going over the edge so there you go I've just popped it up the same as the Cedar Summit cups and mug they just fold down flat and come back up The filter can be taken out and cleaned. A little bit awkward getting back in, but it can be done. So I've just bought my smaller set today. So this is the 375 milliliter Tokes titanium cup. It sits inside the titanium 550 mil pot. And I've got the lid for that too. And I've bought the Optimus wind guard, which is a wind guard or wind protector for gas stoves. So I'll get that set up. The stove I'm using is my usual, the BRS, which is a little titanium one. And super lightweight. A lot of negative comments about this but I haven't had a problem with any of the three I've got. And this bit will just pull it open. So it sits around the neck of the canister. I have done a review about this, so I'll, if you go through my list of videos, it's probably about a year ago now. I'm, actually, it was on the other side of the dam I did the review. And that's when I was doing a burn off, and we had all the smoke behind me. So. Let's measure the amount of water I want. Move the noise a bit further away from the camera because I'm having to use the built in microphone on the camera today because we've had a bit of rain and I've had to take the lavalier mic off and put the waterproof back on the camera. Get that on the go. I just picked up this coffee, which is the Harris Coffee Roasters Espresso, and it's got the four bean on it, so it's the one below the strongest blend I've got. Really 
it's safe to use of plunger, filter, bird, drip filter, espresso, or espresso machine. I'm picking all the bits up off the table now. So that just sits on your cup like that. glue off the pack. Run by the measurement, let's pour it in. That's it. Coffee all over me, they're trying to blow the coffee off the rim. bought the original packaging so let's get all the measurements off it. Weight. Coffee will open the face. Is 85 grams which is three ounces. The actual uh, amount it will hold is 480 ml which is 16.2 fluid ounces and it collapses down to 20 millimeters which is 0.8 inches. They class it as a two cup volume. Uh, you can work with paper filters if desired. Durable nylon 66, food grade silicon, stainless steel mesh. Fits inside the X pot kettle. There you go. I've tried this once at home and with another one and this one seemed better to use what I'll do is I'll knock it on today I'm doing a review of this one but I bought one of those cheap and nasty ones uh, the stainless steel ones they are for not a lot of money off one of the cheap websites and I'll, I'll show you that in a couple of weeks I just wanted to try this one out again because I'm thinking about doing another section of the Billboard track just from North Bannister down to Dwellingot which is four days walk which is about the 70 kilometers and if I can get used to this and if before I let go I feel it might be useful to take I, I may take it with me and see how it goes all right there's my water nice and warm now so the canister that's actually helped block the heat from going to the canister there, which is good. And that's my full cup. And I say first to take your time, just to get it wet. And there we go, you can see it's slowing down so the actual coffee grind is wet now. So let's just pour the whole lot in. And see how long that takes to go down. Nice little drip run off it. Smells good. I 
right already we've had we'd be using my normal coffee bags while we're having a tea that would have all been in my cup now and I would have been sipping on it so time wise it's going to take longer to do for in the morning so if you're the same as me you like to get up early and get on the, the track early maybe this isn't the one for the first thing in the morning but thinking about it maybe I good for mid morning and you stop on the way or midday or whatever time you drink your coffee you've got time to just settle and relax there you go that's yeah give it a bit of a encouragement and that's that one done So how long was that? I reckon about four minutes, five minutes for it to filter through. Yeah, I think I, I didn't need as much coffee in it, so it may have been quicker if I didn't put as much coffee in, because that's a good black, black coffee, strong one. I'll, do a, I'll finish drinking this and we'll see how many bits came through to the bottom if anything got through the filters. <laughs> wander around whilst drinking the coffee it's nearly gone now I haven't found any bits in it yet so the filters working up to now and I can't see any in the bottom so I'll just finish it and we'll have a look inside there you go None of the, the cut oh, one one bit of coffee in there and that's it. So you do know that with a lot of the actual coffee filter things like this, the metal ones, I've seen other people do reviews and they've said that they're okay, but your coffee has to be ground rather coarse because the bits do go through and end up in your coffee, which can ruin your coffee. But looking at this today, I'll show you, there's one bit and that's probably from when I blew it and it fell off the bottom of the filter. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. Uh, yeah, like I said, next time I won't put so much coffee in there because it's a bit too strong. And I've made my mind up walking around, I won't be taking it with me, not as a main item anyway, when I'm doing multi days on the Bilbo and track days. Overnighters, yeah, I'll, I'll, it's a good chance I'll put it in my pack. Or even in the in the car. That'd be a good one in the car, wouldn't it? Just fold it down, throw it in the glove box, your bag of coffee in your cup and get to where you're going and then make a fresh coffee okay I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have and it's the first time you've been to my channel please go down below and click on the subscribe button and the bell notification next to it and the like button too or even share it with all your mates and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care